Hey everybody, it is Ed. All right, I really don't know what to make of this. So I am looking at an article in Variety and it's in multiple, it's 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 listed in, in many places. The date on this is April 12th, 2022. And the headline reads, Elvis Presley's song catalog to be represented by Universal Publishing Authentic Brands Group. What does this mean? I am not sure. Let's read and let's find out and see if we can find out together. Elvis Presley's catalog will be administered by Universal Music Publishing and represented by Authentic Brands Group. The company's announced Tuesday. As part of the expanded relationship, UMPG and ABG will represent Elvis Presley's catalog of his hits worldwide, excluding the UK which includes such classics as Can't Help Falling in Love, It's Now or Never, Memories, A Little Less Conversation, Don't Be Cruel, Jailhouse Rock, Love Me Tender, Viva Las Vegas, Amazing Grace, All Shook Up, Tears on My Pillow, and countless more. Tears on My Pillow? Did I miss that one? All right. Uh, the deal, terms of which were not disclosed, comes at an auspicious time as Baz Luhrmann's biopic Elvis, starring Tom Hanks and Austin Butler, arrives in theaters June 24th and premieres next month at the Cannes Film Festival. ABG's formidable portfolio includes such iconic celebrity bands, oh, I'm sorry, celebrity brands, such as Presley, Marilyn Mur uh, Monroe, and Muhammad Ali. I don't know my dogs are barking. Well, Presley has songwriting credits on just a handful of songs. ABG holds the rights to his catalog. Presley, who died in 1977, is widely recognized as the best-selling solo music artist of all time. With more than 500 million records sold and a record for most songs charting on Billboard's Top 40 with 114 hits, including 40 within the Top 10 and 18 reaching number one. He also holds the record for the most RIAA certified golden platinum albums, the most albums charted on Billboard 200, the most number one albums by a solo artist on the UK album charts, and the most number one singles by any act on the UK singles chart. The agreement builds upon Universal Music's existing relationship with ABG. In November 2020, UMG and ABG, a major intellectual property owner and entertainment company, announced the strategic initiative to acquire and actively manage artist brands. According to the announcement in working together, the companies joined forces to expand the legacies and cultural impact of artists worldwide across a wide range of consumer touch points to drive opportunities in merchandise, memorabilia, endorsements, brand experiences, and content, among many others. UMPG COO Mark Semino said, Elvis Presley has had an unprecedented and lasting global impact on music and pop culture. CEO Jody Gerson and I, along with UMPG's teams around the world, couldn't be more excited and honored to work with ABG in making sure that Elvis's iconic legacy endures for generations to come. 2022 is shaping up to be a banner year for Elvis, highlighted by the highly anticipated theatrical release this June of Elvis, directed by Baz Luhrmann, as well as the debut of Netflix's upcoming animated action series, Agent King, uh, said ABG, the entertainment president, Mark Rosen. We are honored to work in partnership with UMPG as guardians of Elvis's incomparable catalog bringing his music and cultural influence to audiences around the world. So now does that mean that Universal Music is going to now be releasing Elvis, his catalog, or is Sony Music still going to be, I don't know, I don't know what this means. Does that mean it's jumping ship to Universal Music? Because if it does, that could be a decent thing to me. <laughs> um, all right, but I'm not going to get into that. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually waiting to find out and see if I uh, if uh, I can get a little bit more info into this. But it, it it's I'm really confused by this. Now, again, I'm not exactly sure. Does this mean that Sony Music outright sold Elvis's catalog to 
Universal Music, and now Universal is going to be releasing it once this is all finalized. I don't know. I, I it, it, I'm not getting that from the article, but I'm only making the assumption that's what is going to happen. So, if you have a little bit more insight into this, and and uh, you can let me know in the comment, I would I would greatly appreciate it. But like I said, if I do get further information, I will. Um, I'll make a video about it and, and let everybody know, all right, who's interested. But yeah, I'm, I'm really confused by this. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a good thing, but who knows? I guess only time will tell. All right, but um, if you want, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And as always, be good to yourselves, be good to each other. And take care, everybody.